Hello folks and welcome. I'm X23.3 XFCE Desktop. Today I'm going to talk about printers. I had a very nice gentleman leave me a message this morning and he was having some difficulty with his printer. So I thought to myself I might as well distribute some of that information that I gave him on a video. So I'm filming in 1080. Welcome folks. Subscription key in the corner. I think we've all gone through this hassle over the years where we uh, picked a printer and we try to install it and then we pull our hair out. I've done this uh, many times. So I'm going to talk um, more specifically about a type of a printer than a model and make of a printer. But I will show you what I'm using and I'll show you a picture of it and then I'll give you some tips toward the end of the video about some keyboard shortcuts also. All right, so we've all been there. We have uh, tried to install our printers. All right, so I'm going to open this up. So do you know what cups is? Uh, well, some of us know what a cup of coffee is, and I had one just prior to this video. And uh, humor aside, it stands for Common Unix Printing System. Now, the inventor of Linux, if you're not aware, is Linus Torvalds. And when he started in Helsinki, Finland, he was using a Unix system. So CUPS is, uh, stands for Common Unix Printing System. Occasionally, you'll have updates. And uh, this is MX, so this box will turn green. And if you read the uh, what's going to be updated, you'll see occasional ones for CUPS. Adding printers, drivers, and all kinds of different things to the CUPS uh, or the printing engine, if you want to call it that. Now, we can also talk about the Heinz variety of printers out there. There are many models, many manufacturers, and some of them do not have Linux drivers. And then we have um, basically cheap printers also on the discount racks and discount markets that people gravitate toward because they're trying to save money. But unfortunately, they lose a lot of hair in the process because they cannot figure out how to install them or it has really poor hardware. It keeps jamming paper and also could be software features. They don't play well with other operating systems. There's all kinds of myriads of things. So why did I choose Brother HL3170? I've had this for five years. It's a color laser printer and I'm running it driverless wireless wireless driverless driverless wireless I'm saying that word a couple of times to give you a hint in case you're in the market of getting a new printer so the category I would look for if you are in the market of printers is driverless printers this also has an Ethernet port and a USB connected port I chose this printer because I can just plug it into the wall and I can place it anywhere and I don't have to have a computer nearby it. So to give you an example how many systems I can print from, I can print from any Linux distribution and also Microsoft Windows and Macs. My wife has a Mac. She'll be sitting in the bedroom and hit print. She'll have to walk to my office and get the paper, but nonetheless, it prints. My daughter comes over occasionally and I let her use my network. So basically, when she uses her iPhone, she can print directly to this printer. She doesn't have to set up anything. She just finds it on the network, picks the, whatever she's printing and hits print. I don't know about you, but that's the way I want things to go. I don't, I don't want to go through this nonsense of spending two hours trying to install a printer. And I've been using this for five years. And if you have seen any of my videos, you'll also notice that I not only do videos for on MX, but I do other Linux distributions also. Take a look at my playlists for one and take a look at how many videos I have on that site. But I use the same process. I go and as soon as I install the distribution, I go to the settings and I look at the printer and this is sitting there every time. Wireless, driverless, ready to print. All right, let's go the other way. So you picked a printer that is not wireless driverless. 
So now you have to do a couple things. We know we have to deal with cups. Cups of coffee also. Uh, get both. Common Unix printing system. So we're going to try to find something that plays nice. We can also talk about basic settings and advanced. I normally don't mess with these. The last one I do like, especially when you run out of paper. We can do the add thing. And this is where people get into trouble because they don't know what these things mean. But if you ever see something like this and you're trying to look for a printer and uh, you go, okay, I found this, what's driverless mean? More than likely, you'll already have it set up right here. It's ready to print, in other words. And I'll talk about some keyboard shortcuts with a live document that actually shows a picture of this manual. And I'll use that as my guinea pig for printing. But driverless is what I would recommend if you have the option of purchasing a new printer nowadays. Or if you want to get rid of the hassle one and buy something that, um, that you're trying to get to work. Try driverless printers. All right, so whatever you do after you set up your printer, if you successfully set it up on a USB cable or ethernet, you need to first make sure that it prints. So cups test page. So hit print and it gives you a test print. So if that works and it looks nice, then you're good to go on that one. We also have policies that you can change, access control, printer option, maybe the kind of paper, um, maybe the color is, uh, maybe your laser printer also offers monochrome, in other words, two color, or it offers two-sided printing, that kind of thing. All right, so uh, some things may not be selectable and some things may. On mine, I don't really care about this because I can tell on my printer when it's out of ink, it'll just complain. Then I have to go check the status on there and it normally will show me uh, via a little display that uh, the yellow toner needs to be replaced or whatever color toner cartridge because I have different types of toner cartridges in this one. All right, we also have set as default. So if you have more than one, you can set one as default printer. And uh, we also can view the print queue. So in case uh, the thing um, messes up and you want to restart the printing job, you can delete it and restart it, that kind of stuff. And uh, then we have, uh, that's self-explanatory and a little bit of troubleshooting, F1. So this was all about cups. Configuration printing tool. So let me give you a couple of tips regarding printing, if you're not too keen on this. And some people are and some people are not. All right, I'm gonna open up the manual for the HL3170, the printer that I have been using for the last five years. Again, it's trouble free in my book. It sits there waiting for me to hit print, then it goes to sleep afterwards. All right, this printer does have an ethernet port. It does have an USB, but I like the wireless driverless. So let me talk about the shortcut of printing. I'm not gonna print this 206 page manual, but I'm gonna hit Control P. Holding down the Control key is hitting P. If you're unaware that that's a keyboard shortcut, it is pretty much universal. It's universal in Linux and it's uh, universal pretty much also in uh, Microsoft Windows. If you have additional printers, you may be able to find them by clicking the arrow. You can also change the properties in case you want to change the orientation of the paper and a bunch of other options. Okay. We also have general options, more than one copy or a specific pages. If you have a big manual like this, pages one through one or pages something. So there's lots of options when it comes to this stuff. Okay, just wanted to let you see that. Control P. I can also click the that and you can now see the, the shortcut right here. So this is the same box. But wireless driverless is what I would recommend if you are wanting less of your gray hairs pulled out for printing. Thank you for watching.